Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I do want to give you guys a quick update. From here on out, you guys are not going to have to be guessing when is the next day. I'm going to upload from here on out. Write it in your calendar. I'm going to be uploading every Tuesday and every Friday. So now you guys know you don't have to wait for that notification. If you have not subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe so you guys can get the newest um, uploaded videos. So again, like I said, Tuesdays and Fridays, and it's going to be obviously to do with tarot, but as well with spell work. So there you guys go. Anyways, let's get into your readings. Um, Capricorns, like I said, this is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for the month of June 2018. Capricorns, Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right, so Capricorn, for your general energy, you have, wow, the Three of Swords. Three of Swords is a general energy, and what this signifies, it could be past and passing type of energy. Um, perhaps in the past, you guys have been dealing with, or I mean in the past three weeks, you guys perhaps were dealing with a third-party type of scenario. Let me see what the Three of Swords signifies for you guys. So there's been a lot of difficulties. I feel that Perhaps it doesn't have to be about betrayal. It could be just going through very difficult, um, troublesome type of energy. I feel that for a lot of Capricorns, perhaps you guys have been having difficulty finding um, balance in regards to your finances or in regards to your life, your life's mission um, is what I'm hearing. Now, in this deck, I do see fairies around the Three of Swords, and this is signifying... Uh, holding on to grudges or to past experiences and actually almost like allowing. So for those Capricorns that have been hurt or betrayed in the past, uh, it's time to let go and release that. I feel that you guys have already healed or have already gone through that transition. And I feel that you're still holding on to it only because it's a defensive type of mechanism. Nonetheless, Spirit is telling you it's time to move on. It's time to let go of what no longer serves you. Take the lessons that were brought to you. Take them as lessons learned. Hopefully you did learn. And know and understand that life is about progression and expansion. It's about continuously keep moving forward. Stop looking towards the past. I know Capricorns could have a difficulty with that. Um, for some of you guys that have not been able to find the stability that you guys have been looking for, or perhaps feeling like the clock is ticking, um, has a lot to do with the fact that, you know, obviously Saturn is in your sign, but... Again, with the Three of Swords, I feel like you guys continuously keep looking to the past. So you guys need to let go of that type of energy and start to embrace the new beginnings and the future more than anything. Live in the present, uh, but be focused towards the future as well. So also another thing with the Three of Swords, I feel that for some of you Capricorns out there, um, for some of you guys that have been having difficulty in regards to relationships or in regards to uh, financial stability or even the family type of dynamic. Um, there is a need to you guys to let go of grudges. Stop holding on to the past again, like I said. But I feel that more than anything is grudges. grudges. So if you guys have been dealing with um, a kind of hanging on or clinging on to like grudges from family members, people that have done you wrong in the past, it's time to shake that off and let go of that. Stop holding people like, stop blaming people for the reason why life has turned out the way it is. Uh, stop looking for excuses and start putting your nose to the grindstone. And I know this is something I do not need to tell Capricorns because I know you guys, uh, out of all the signs, are probably one one of the ones that are the most financial motivated. Uh, nonetheless, I feel that this has more to do, like, with emotions and... Um, even if you are a Capricorn that has been single for a very long time, uh, stop, you know, blaming the ex for the fact that you can't trust people uh, or whatever it may be. Like, just stop blaming other people and take action, do movement, forward movement, um, and learn from what was learned in the past and let go of it. Okay. That was a long intro. Anyways, your next card. See, there you go. So your next card here is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is definitely talking about walking away or moving towards a new beginning. You have the Magician card, and the Magician card here is definitely signifying Capricorn. Your planet is in your sign. What are you doing? What actions are you taking? 
or what forward movement are you doing that is going to shake the circumstances where you're at and actually give you a better future? Uh, with the Eight of Cups, Eight of Cups can also represent um, spiritual guidance because there's stars in this in this deck with the Eight of Cups, and the stars are representation of hope and faith, but also blessings coming your way. So again, what is it that you're doing um, to have a different outcome from the outcomes you've had in the past? With the magician, uh, spirit is telling you, Capricorn, your planet is in your sign. You have all the tools on the table. What are you doing to get a different outcome? Your next card is, whoops, your next card here is the world card. <sighs> Capricorn. Okay. So with the magician and the world card, uh, the world card is a signifying uh, it's is signifying, sorry, a major transition and an ending cycle. For some of you guys, it could be that you're graduating. If you guys had gone back to college or were picking up new studies or something like that, you're definitely going to be accomplishing that and taking it to the next level. For others of you, it could be that you recently started a new profession, a new job, uh, some type of new beginning, and you may be going through the ending cycle of working where you've been working for the past 10 years and actually making a transition or a change. Um, but for others of you, it can actually signify travel. And I don't mean travel like road trips. I mean travel like out of country type of travel um, because the magician and the world definitely talks about the thinking process, but actually action into it as well with the world card. Now, your next card here is the death card, Capricorn. The death card is, again, major transformation happening for you, Cappies. I am so happy and so excited. Um, I don't think you Capricorns have had a very bad reading this year. Uh, definitely this year is going to be your year, Capricorn, and for the coming two years, that's hope. Um, but again, I do see major transformations and major changes happening for you Capricorns out there. A lot of you guys are going to be changing profession. Others of you guys are going to be even moving to a different country um, and setting new goals. And again, like I said, with the magician, you have all the tools on your table to create, basically create the life that you want. What is it that you're doing now that is very different from what you did last year around this time? If you've been living a life... Um, of no change whatsoever, because I know Capricorns could be a little bit stubborn. Uh, it's time to expand your awareness and actually put forth the energy into new beginnings, doing new things, going out of your way and trying new things again, like I said, because I definitely do see a transformation happening here with the death card. Uh, for a lot of you guys, it could be even, you know, um, taking relationships to the next level. Um, I feel that this has more to do profession, profession wise and, um, the living structure in regards to like moving. I do see a lot of movement. I do see a lot of changes happening for you guys. Um, major transformation in regards to professions is what I'm hearing. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. If you have not subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe and we'll see you guys soon. Bye.